Welcome guys, one more time, here I am again, your host Juan More, and this show is El Mejor Inglés. This is episode number 10, and today we are going to be learning with style, and also online classes. Does your learning style affect online classes, and what should you consider when you think about signing up for online classes, or are traditional classes where you go with a teacher and a board better for you? That's going to be our show for today, so let's see. Learning styles are the way that you learn, the, your style, right? Everyone has a different style to do things. Some people, for example, prefer to just read things, right? They are visual learners and they learn by looking at things and just thinking about them and memorizing things like that, right? This is a kind of learning style. Some people, they prefer to listen to music. They prefer to watch YouTube shows and listen to the radio. Um, and this is how they learn best, by just focusing on the sounds and things like that. Other people are kinesthetic learners. Okay, kinesthetics are like movements and things like that. Like when a child is always touching things and they're putting Lego blocks together and you're thinking about, like a mechanic. A mechanic learns about a new car by touching it and taking it apart and putting it back together. And this is called kinesthetic uh, style learner. We also have social learners. Um, these are people who enjoy socializing with other people and they learn a lot by teaching other people, by talking with the other people. And this is how they learn best, just by interacting, right? These are like social butterflies. I'm not gonna focus about which learning style you are or anything. What I'm here to tell you is that you need to learn what is your learning style, right? You need to find out what is your learning style before you consider any kind of English course. Why am I talking about this? All right, guys, I'm talking about this because, because of online courses versus traditional courses, right? I get the question a lot about which one is better, online courses or traditional courses? There's no denying it, traditional courses work. But do online courses also work? Are they better? Online courses are all the rage now. You see a lot of advertisements everywhere, right? They keep saying that they are the best, that they have the most modern style, and hey, El Mejor Inglés is almost an online course, but we're not because we're a show. Uh, in any case, is an online course going to work for you? Are they better than traditional classes? Are you gonna be just, is it just gonna be magic and the English is gonna come into your brains like this? Well, that actually depends, right? Online courses could be good for you if you are a visual learner, if you are a person who can just think about things, if you like to read by yourself. But if you like to interact socially with people, if you like to have a teacher telling you to do your homework, and if you wanna have partners to share things with, online courses might not be the best for you. So do they work? Yes, online courses can work for you. But traditional courses are generally better. Why? Because most people are a combination of all the styles. Right? You might be a little bit visual, but you also learn by touching things and doing the exercises. You might also learn by interacting with people. And traditional classes give you all of this together. And you can even do online things in a traditional class if your teacher is up to date and gives you things to do online and videos to watch and things like that. Now that I think about it, mm, there is one recommendation we can make to you. Progressive English Services is an on, is a traditional center where you go to get classes. So I have a message for you. Si usted quiere aprender el inglés y quiere mejorar en el rendimiento de ese idioma, Progressive English le puede traer a ustedes los mejores resultados. Ahora que estamos hablando de su tipo de aprendizaje, en los cursos tradicionales de Progressive le van a ofrecer una combinación de todo esto y usted puede mejorar su inglés ahí. Puede contactar a Progressive en los teléfonos 809 732-5150 o visitando la página pes.com.do también hay un enlace aquí debajo en la descripción que usted puede hacer clic. Now we're going to move on to our expression of the day. Our expression of the day is fall behind, guys. Fall behind. Now, you can already imagine what fall behind means just by looking at it. To fall behind 
basically means to not be able to keep up with something. This something can be a march, for example, if you're walking along in a march and you are behind everybody else, you cannot do the same speed as everyone else, then you are falling behind in the march. If, for example, you have a big credit card debt and you just can't make all of the payments of the credit card, you are going to fall behind in your payments. You just can't keep up with all the expenses. So fall behind can be used for a lot of things. It can be about money and things, but it's whenever you cannot do things at the same speed or rate as before. So make sure to not fall behind, guys. Learn these phrases and use them in your daily life and you will keep ahead of everyone else. Thank you very much. So to recap a summary, when you're gonna consider a class, whether you're going to a traditional course or you're going to an online course, learn about your learning style. Find a way to find out what is your learning style and then choose based on that. If you know that you're a visual learner, go for online classes, they might work for you. If you're a social learner, go for the traditional classes. That's my recommendation, all right? Now, I wanna thank you very much, guys, for tuning in to episode number 10, Learning with Style. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, definitely like it, share it with everybody on Facebook, on YouTube. Make sure to leave a comment if you have a question, and remember to subscribe so that you don't lose any of our videos. You can watch them right away when they come out, and tell everybody that you know who needs a little help with their English to watch our shows. All right, guys, so stay tuned for episode 11, and I'll see you guys next time.